is up? Hopefully you guys are having a wonderful day. Back with some more Resident Evil Zero gameplay for you. And I had a community post up on the channel talking about in terms of characters that I like to call one and done that have only appeared in one major Resident Evil game, which would you like to see return? And I had a you know the options available that I could put up there, you know, the Billies, the Carloses the Shevas, the Helenas, and there's some others that I couldn't put up there, you know, that are there, because trust me, there's a lot of one-and-done characters. I figured the best way that I could go about this is to maybe talk about them singly, talk about the last time we've seen these characters, speculate what where they might have been, and speculate how maybe they can possibly make a return, because as much as I do like seeing you know brand new characters i do feel like resident Evil has a plethora of characters that already exist that just are sitting there i like the you know theorizers are just sitting there in a bar just waiting when is um capcom going to call our number if ever so without further ado i think it only makes sense that we start from the very beginning in a chronological order and that is with resident Evil zero the game we're playing right now and that is with the character of billy cone now, Billy Coon, technically, you want to be technical. I guess you could say Carlos is the one that's been missing in action the longest because his game came out before Zero, but obviously Zero takes place before Resident Evil Nemesis. But the point I'm trying to get here is that if you just go by chronologically, Billy Coon has been absent for a long, long time. I mean, hell. We don't even know if he's even technically still alive because there's a lot of theories talking about how, hey, he just died in the forest. Now, I'll be the first one to admit, I don't believe that. Unfortunately, I can't prove it because, as I said, we don't know what's happened to Billy. His first appearance for Resident Zero and his last appearance for Resident Zero. Last time we saw him was him wandering off in the forest and the end of Resident Zero and that's it. So, But I just like to think it's he has to be alive. It's just anticlimactic for him to just die off screen. But... Nonetheless, Billy Coon is interesting because obviously, if we just want to say, like, for instance, if he's going to come back, we, I'd have to say he has to come back somewhere around, I don't know, post Death Island and somewhere in that Resident Evil 7 8 timeline. Because I guess you could maybe do it a game before then, but I just don't think they're going to do that. But my point is, is that. He's obviously going to be very different. I mean, it's been about 20 years. And I'm not just talking about him aging. Another thing is just for the obvious elephant in the room. He obviously just can't look exactly like he is. He, even though he was confirmed dead, thanks to Rebecca, it's not like he can just wander about out in public. So he's probably changed his look, his name, just to remain off the radar. So it just there's a lot of you know speculation in that. But the point I'm trying to make here is that obviously Billy's not just going to be looking the same as he is in Zero, not just from aging, but just physical look, just to stay off the radar from the government who obviously framed him for a crime he didn't commit. So we don't have a lot to really go on, but let's just talk about how he can possibly see Billy come back. And my thing is this. I don't want him coming back in a cameo. Even though it would be nice to see him, to me, my thing is this. If you're going to bring back a character... Make it impactful and meaningful. Don't just be like, hey, there's a cameo of him waving in the background or something. Have him come back and have it mean something. Have it have an impact. Have something behind it. It's not just a simple sequence. Have something that's, you know, planned, makes sense, be a crowd pleaser as well as have substance behind it. And for me personally, I see one of two ways they could do it. And I'm still going with the route, you know, something post Death Island. But. Looking at Billy and his background, obviously he wants to remain off the radar for obvious reasons. So the first way you can bring him back is I just have a feeling that Billy might be a type of person after going through the events he did in the military as well as the events in Resident Evil Zero. He might want to, you know, combat, what, regardless of its bioterrorism or even just the, the issues that the government does, you know, in terms of covering up stuff and, you know, the ill doings of it, especially with what he experienced. He could do a lot of things in terms of like, like working undercover or working underground, staying off the radar or maybe like exchanging information or doing things off the radar just to help out and, and you know correct the wrongdoings from other people so that more people don't like suffer the same fate that he did. And with his experience and obviously not just being in the military but surviving the events of Resident Evil Zero, I think that would be invaluable. So I just kind of had this you know fun little theory that maybe he's been working with a lot of like 
you know, undercover people or he's seen them from time to time because he is off the radar. Maybe even working for some shady people. Maybe he's like seen someone like a, a hunk or an, an Ada Wong and just something cool like that. Or we could do something that I think probably more people would probably prefer to see. And that's something that I've heard a lot of people say it, it would have been really cool to see it in Def Island. But um, have some way that him and... Um, Rebecca see each other post Death Island, obviously, and I think why that would be cool is just for the fact that no other character is going to have the connection to Billy that Rebecca obviously has. Rebecca is basically the only person that probably knows that he's still alive to this day. You know, not unless they create some story afterwards, but obviously we got nothing. It's just pure speculation. to a lot of things, and I guess that's the fun part of it. But have some way and i've always heard like the speculation if they ever made a revelation street i've always heard rebecca should be the main character you know maybe bring back billy maybe just a return of the people from resume zero i don't know what it would be you know maybe a simple adventure maybe show billy just kind of being more of an undercover person but him meeting rebecca see how they've changed over the years i mean it's been almost two decades and there's a lot they can do but I'd also like to see, you know, Billy just have some type of recap of what he's been up to in these 20 years, what he's been doing, where he's been living, hiding out, and maybe him and Rebecca could bond over there. As I said, it's just like there's no other character that really knows about Billy but Rebecca because everyone assumes he's dead and obviously can't go out in public. So maybe they even have a story about him kind of just being really lonely because he's just, you know, he can't. For obvious reason, maybe he started, but who knows, maybe he started a new life and just living there peacefully. Obviously, that probably wouldn't be the most entertaining from a gameplay perspective, and maybe something forces them to go back in there. And I think that's the fun part about this, is that they could do so many things. It's just that I feel like for people that are fans of the character, it's just kind of weird how Billy is just one of many characters that just has these one-and-done moments and nothing else. There's not even been a lot of just, like, easter eggs or just anything with him it's like he's just disappeared off the face of which is why a lot of the people are theorized they're always dead he died in the forest but i just feel like that's just too bland and anticlimactic but nonetheless billy's just one of many characters that i feel like you know needs to make a return nothing against new characters but there's so many characters that have just have one appearance and that's it and they let's just be honest if we just saw like chris and jill in one game and that's it would they be the characters we look at in reverence today absolutely not so why would you not want to give someone else another chance especially when i feel like he you know he had a lot of potential with the whole soldier background in terms of the whole betrayal by him and basically framing him for a crime he didn't commit and how he's dealt with that in the last 20 years they could do so much with it he may not be one of my favorite characters but you'd be amazed at how people may start off one way and just become something else if you give them a chance but nonetheless that's my opinion i want to hear your guys opinion um if you could bring Billy Cohn back, how would you bring it back? And what would you do? How would you put him in there? Let me know down in the comment section down below. But thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. And hopefully I can see you guys back on the next one. Thank you very much. And I hope to see you all later. Peace.